molecular biology lab, we carry out HD practicals such as DNA extraction, bacterial DNA extraction, uh, agarose gel electrophoresis to quantify DNA concentration, and polymerase chain reaction to uh, amplify the bacterial DNA. When you enter the lab, on the left side, you can see the fire extinguisher and the set of uh, laboratory rules given for students. There are two sinks on the either side of the lab and this is the uh, working bench where our students get to prepare their samples and all. Here you can see the microcentrifuge. Uh, usually we use this for uh, PCR master mix preparation and the maximum speed uh, it goes up to is 13,000 rpm and here what we got uh, are the gel apparatus which is used for agarose gel electrophoresis you can see here a small gel chamber and a bigger one here with the necessary uh, other equipments like comb and the gel tray and there are the two power supplies as well this is a weighing balance which is used to uh, weigh agarose powder for preparation of gel. Also we got a microwave. This is the thermal cycler, the PCR machine. And here we got the gel imager uh, which we use to visualize the agarose gel. This is a class 2 bar safety cabinet. So here our students uh, prepare their PCR master mix. Two refrigerators in the lab. 2 degrees Celsius refrigerator and minus 20 refrigerator. Uh, this 2 degrees Celsius refrigerator is used for storage of um, samples and chemicals for a short period of time. And the minus 21 is used for storage of PCR reagents, enzymes and other chemicals. So we have set of pipettes. So uh, now here I'm showing you a few of those. Uh, there are different volume ranges. Um, these ones uh, we have separated it for uh, preparation of the PCR reagents and the PCR master mix and there's a separate set for uh, gel loading and this first container is for uh, for disposing the pipette tips or any sharp materials. You can see these cupboards usually this, these are used to store uh, reagents, uh, consumables and other utensils which are required for students practicals. There are waste containers uh, and there are separate waste containers to uh, dispose the used agarose gels.